lightweight championship fight between Edson Barboza and Bruce Lee. Hey guys, this is Mr. JJ today I'm showing you the light of championship between Bruce Lee and Edson Barboza. I hope you guys will like it. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Barboza is three years his senior. He will have a three inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Edson Jr. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to one. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, 
Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. And misses with the right hand. Establish that jab. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Oh! Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Just misses there with the left. Misses with the straight left hand. Lee's kick attempt there blocks. Check that kick as well. Oh, misses with the jab. Lands with the right hand. Under two minutes to go. Big call for punch man. Now we get back to range. Better check. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Nice punch lands over the top. Leg kick land. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Final seconds here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Right, take a seat. Three. Listen, that was awesome. We need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Peace. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, 
you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's having his way with him here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh! Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's fit section. Nice body right on the elbow. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. What a punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Barboza. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Come on, bro. Keep those hands up for me. Liver kick. Beautiful punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Kick is blocked. Unable to big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Left hand punch. The Both leg. fighters throwing heat now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets back up again. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Well done to catch the kick, we'll see what he can do. 10 seconds to go in the round. 
big body to land. Round three next. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. And both guys really throwing with authority. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. Just missed with the elbow there. Effective punch there by Lee. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Barboza. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. Oh, straight right. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Let's go, let's go. We got one minute left in the round. Good punch, Lance. Real nice body kick lands. Put your hands up higher. Lee 
gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he got him! He got him! And he is back up to his feet. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not good. Serve him up. Go get him. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Edson Jr. Barbosa. Lee's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. The ground and pound has been there all night. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. This is some serious pressure from the top by Lee. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees, either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to change the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and are options for positional advancements if you're patient. an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there is the UFC lightweight champion. He is going to be a hard guy to buck off the throne, getting it done by way of knockout here tonight. What a finish on the sport's biggest stage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 1 minute, 46 seconds of round number 4. We're playing the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon. While tears of joy and hard to blame him, we have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt wrapped around my waist tonight. He got that done. Look at him celebrate with his corner. Those guys all believed, and he got the job done.